Hi everyone. Um, I'm back, I guess. Um, I want to preface this video by saying that I am recording it on my MacBook instead of my camera because it would just would have been too much of a hassle to like get everything together with my camera and stuff. And I just wanted to make a quick video so you guys can have the answers that you need and updates that you may want to hear. Um, and this is just a quicker way to do it. So as you can see, the main difference between me right now and me of the past, me in the last two videos that I posted is my hair. So I have taken my Senegalese twists out. I actually took them out um, about two weeks ago, close to two, two and a half weeks ago. Um, and I'm happy to report that no, I do not have any bald spots. I do not have any breakage. My hairline is there. It's completely there. So I'm really happy about that because uh, I was extremely pensive when I was taking my braids out. I was like checking for bald spots and blah blah blah. So I've had I had my Senegalese twists. I got them in November 12th and I took them out, I want to say, towards the beginning of February. So I literally had them in for up for close to three months. And I remember um, when I, my twists, I don't have uh, kinky hair. So my hair did grow, but it did not become fuzzy, so it was still um, appealing to the eye. Like, it didn't look unkempt. So I told my mom, like, yeah, I'm just going to keep these twists in forever. Like, it's so easy, and it doesn't even look that bad. She was like, no, you better not do that, because if you do that, your hair is going to tangle, it's going to nod, it's going to be impossible to take out. And I was like, no, I don't want dreadlocks. Not that there's anything wrong with dreadlocks, but I don't want to have knots. So I don't want, like... It's ruined my hair because she really scared me. She was like, it's going to ruin your hair. Ah. So I took them out like the week after that and it took three hours to take out and a lot of hair fell out. Um, some of it was hair that had unfortunately been pulled from my follicles, especially uh, these little babies um, hairs right here. But most of the hair was just hair that would have fallen out had I not had twists. So, you know, your hair falls out every day. It's part of shedding. It's, it happens to everyone. It happens to dogs. It happens to humans. Um, and so when your hair is in those protective styles, it can't shed. So when you take your braids out, there's going to be a lot of hair everywhere. Like, I was cleaning the bathroom for days. Just hair was everywhere. So I took it out. It took three hours to take out. Um, my hair was like, it was like a cool afro thing. Well, it wasn't really an afro. It was like the twist had made it like texturized and it was cool I took some pictures um but then the next day what I got done as you can see here was a cut color perm colored was jet black it was a rinse so it's not as black as it was I should have filmed this two two weeks ago when it was fresh but it's not as black as it was then but that's what I got done and my hairdresser reported that there was no damage to my hair that it is perfectly healthy and here's okay here's the thing when I got my twists, I thought that it would give me length. That's why I had my hair in weaves. That's why I had my hair in twists, because I wanted it to be long. As you can see, it's not long. It's not really any longer than it was on the videos prior to my weaves, prior to my braids. It's basically the same length, right? So, like, the first time I took my hair out, I went to the hairdresser, so I couldn't really feel what she was doing to my hair. I couldn't feel the hair for myself, because she was doing it. So then I, you know, continued about my life for two weeks, and then on Sunday I had to wash my hair again because it had been two weeks. So I go into the shower and I start washing my hair with uh, Chi shampoo, Chi Infra shampoo. And I'm like, it, it felt so thick, you guys. It was so curly. And I was like, what is happening? It feels like, it felt so, like, juicy and, like, like it had never, usually when I wash my hair, it's never... It's like it's just limp and thin and I can run my hands through it easily. But it was like getting caught in curls. I was like, what is happening? Like, did that dye ruin my hair? Did the perm ruin my hair? Like, what's going on? This is my shampoo. I just use, like, regular shampoo and, like, Tresemme conditioner. So I come out the shower and I look at my hair and it's it's actually in a natural type of curl. It's act It was actually, like, spirally. Not, like, frizzy, like, you need to blow dry it type of kinks. I'm talking about kinks that, like you can go natural with and you can just leave it like that. And I was like, wow, what happened? So what happened was my roots were completely straight because my, the perm had made my hair, my roots straight. But once I got like past here, it was completely curly. And I was like, 
I have natural hair. And I didn't even have to do a big chop. Like, what the fuck happened? And so, when I was blow drying it straight, I couldn't help but notice how thick, it was so thick, blow drying my hair. And it was so glossy. Like, the moral of the story is my braids did not give me length. It gave me volume. It gave me hair health. It gave me shine. And it gave me, finally, my hair is thick. So, and I knew it was... I knew I wasn't just like psyching myself out because I saw my mom um, the day after I did my hair. She was like, what? what happened to your hair? Like, I can't believe it. She was running her hand to my hair. And so basically for me, it's just really thick. And if I were to wash it again, it would become curly. And I could literally keep it like that and like put some product in it and make it all juicy and stuff. So I, I told my mom, I was like, what happened? And she was like, if you keep your hair out of a perm for long enough, like two to three months, if you go two to three months without getting a perm and it's in a protective style, it your hair just reverts back to how it naturally is. Not not how naturally it is growing out of your scalp, but just like how nat how it would be naturally once it's already out of your scalp. So it's not like true natural, but it's like pretty natural and it's pretty cool. So this is just my blow dried natural hair technically, but I do have a perm. It's a relaxer, actually, since it's only the roots, but I swear to you, braids really did help as far as hair health, hair viscosity, and the thickness and the shine, and the black dye just makes it shine. It's beautiful. I really love my hair. It's awesome. So that's one of the reasons you should get twists. It really did help. So that's pretty much what's happening with my hair. That took the bulk of the video, so I'm just going to speed through the rest of this. Um... I've got been getting a lot of comments on my Chanel Perfection Lumiere video, and I've now had that foundation for probably three to four months. And over the past two to three weeks, I've been using it religiously to kind of force myself to like it, and I'm finding that it's actually really awesome. Um, I find that when you use different primers and you use different uh, buffing techniques, it actually really helps. Um, and it also helps to have a concealer that's, you know, it's more the color of your skin, so you can even out if the foundation isn't your skin. So I do like Chanel. I'm using it religiously, so go purchase that. My initial video was like an initial reaction, so now the prolonged reaction is that it's worth my money. I probably wouldn't get it again, but I'm definitely going to use it. Um, and I want to talk to you, not in this video, but I'm going to make a video in the subsequent weeks. I have a spring break soon, so hopefully I'll be able to turn out a video or two. I've been just busy with school. But I just want to make a video about um, new products that I have, new brushes. I have a new primer by Hourglass that's really helping. Um, new eyeliner, gel eyeliner from Clinique, which is pretty awesome. There it is. Um, and stuff like that. And people have been asking about what type of camera am I filming with. So another reason I didn't want to film with my camera so I can show you. This is a Canon 60D EOS. It is reversed here. This was a gift from my father, so don't ask me about price points. I don't know anything. And I really don't know anything about this camera either. Um, this is the kit lens, and then I have another lens that's more for widescreen. It's crispier, but this gives me zoom. So this is a Canon 60D EOS that I use to film my more crispier videos. So that. And I think that's everything that I need to address. Chanel perfume. Well, yeah, a lot of people have been talking about in that video. I was chewing gum, and I want to apologize for that, first of all. But it's also been like, mm, you guys are a little overreacting a little. Um, I didn't really know how loud I was chewing, and I didn't know that this camera would pick up on it so much. So please forgive me, and please let it go. It doesn't mean that I'm some hoodlum or uneducated idiot just because I'm chewing gum. So I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Um, so yeah, hair, and glasses, I, I won't do an outfit of the day because it's, who cares, but this cardigan is from Urban Outfitters, it's awesome. So that's it, my hair is awesome, makeup updates coming soon, um, and that's it. Thanks for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing, so many people have commented, it's weird, I never, never thought anyone would watch anything, but you have, and I'm so thankful for that. So yeah, have a great day, afternoon, evening. And if you never come to this channel again, have a good life. But, um, yes. Thanks. Bye.